اهلا وسهلا مرحبا بكم جميعا في برنامج مرحبا الصين انا ساره مقدمه هذا البرنامج تشتهر هانجو في جميع انحاء البلاد بمناخها اللطيف ومناظرها الطبيعيه الساحره باعتبارها احد المدن جنوب نهر اليانغسي لذلك تعرف باسم جنه الصين ولكن هل تعلمون بان هانجو تعرف ايضا باسم عاصمه صناعه الرسوم المتحركه في الصين لماذا حصلت هانجو على هذا الشرف دعونا نذهب اذا الى المتحف الصين للرسوم المتحركه لنعرف الاجابه Hello everyone my name is Thomas I'm from the Netherlands and welcome to today's episode of On Site Today I'm in Zhejiang province its capital Hangzhou and Hangzhou is also known as China's capital of the cartoon and animation industry For many of us one of our best childhood memories is sitting in front of the TV and watching our favorite cartoons right For example in my home country the Netherlands all kids love the story of for example Tom and Jerry, Tintin and the Smurfs. I have many Chinese friends who really love Chinese cartoons and animation. Today I'm going to find out what their childhood memories are and why they are still so passionate about it. Did you know how kids in ancient China used to watch animation? That is by using the so-called trotting horse candle or the trotting horse lamp. In Chinese, it's called Toma Deng. Well, it's a traditional Chinese toy. And how does it work exactly? Well, there is a cleaning wheel on the candle. It burns the candles or the lights underneath it. And the rising heat makes the impeller rotate. Meanwhile, the candle light projects the horses, the paper cut horses, onto the lamp. See, it looks as if the horses are moving. I noticed something very interesting. In the past, the Chinese art style was actually deeply connected with Chinese traditional paintings. For example, the famous painting Where is Mama was actually inspired by Chinese ink painting. <笑>看过很多遍九色鹿嘛它是一个很漂亮很善良的一只神鹿有一次它在路上救了一个落水的人但是它告诉这个落水的人不要告诉别人它的存在但是这个国家的王后特别想要九色鹿国王呢就下令
Just when I thought the present was the most amazing part, I found the future area behind me. We got VR, AR, and MR. Wow. such an amazing trip guys. I have so many friends who love watching Chinese cartoons and Chinese animations. And today, I've not only learned how Chinese cartoons and animations work, but I've also learned, I've discovered, that the Chinese cartoon and animation industry keeps on evolving and keeps on innovating. I think that might be the reason why Chinese younger people still love watching cartoons and animations in China. This is Thomas, I see you in the next episode of On Site. في متحف الصين للرسوم المتحركة شهدنا تطور هذا الفن حيث نمت هذه الصناعة من كونها مستوحاة من الرسم بالحبر في بدايتها لتصبح الآن صناعة مزدهرة والتي نشأت مع أجيال من الصينيين وتركت أفضل الذكريات لدينا حسنا نراكم في الحلقة القادمة إلى اللقاء